Hey guys, uh, this is Normal here for Technic and today we'll do a detailed comparison of two mid-range phones that's the Nokia Lumia 730 with the new Moto G or the Moto G 2014. So these two are mid-range phones which compete with each other. One is Windows Phone 8.1 and the other one is Android KitKat. So we'll uh, consider all the aspects of these two devices and see which is better in each of this area. So let's first uh, look at uh, the spec aspect of these two devices. First up, let's see the, uh, the Nokia Lumia 730. So this is the brand new device from Microsoft. It comes with a 4.7 inch HD display. You have a uh, 6.7 megapixel rear camera with LED flash. There is 5 megapixel front facing camera. That's the first selfie phone from Microsoft. And it's powered by the 1.2 GHz uh, code core Snapdragon 400 processor with 1 GB of RAM. It comes with 8 GB internal storage with this expandable Y micro SD card to uh, 128 GB. It supports dual SIM card and also 3G. So that was the uh, spec aspect of the Nokia Lumia 730. Now moving on to the Moto G. This Moto G first generation was a really popular device in India and uh, Motorola announced the second generation uh, last month. So this device comes up with uh, certain upgraded features like a 5 inch HD display. It's powered by the same Snapdragon 400 uh, code code processor that's the clock that 1.2 GHz and it has the same 1 GB RAM as that of uh, the Lumia 730. The internal storage is at 16 GB and it's expandable via micro SD card. It has an 8 megapixel uh, rear camera with LED flash and also a front facing camera. So that was the spec aspect of uh, the, the Moto G which also comes with a dual SIM card option. And this phone runs Android KitKat out of the box and is up upgradable to the Android Lollipop update which will be coming up uh, in couple of months time. So that is the spec aspect of these two devices. Now let's go into the detailed aspect. Now let's first analyze the display aspect of these two devices though so both the devices have the HD display but since the Lumia 730 has a slightly smaller display the pixel density is uh, slightly better that's 316 when compared to the 294 on the Moto G. The display on both the devices are really good and uh, they are they are really vibrant and it's tough to choose between these two devices because both have really great displays but uh, on this uh, but if you take the Lumia 730 uh, it has the clear black technology from Nokia so that that's one superior aspect of the Lumia 730 but otherwise both the displays are really good both have the Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection so in that aspect uh, the displays are almost similar but for the clear black technology on the Lumia 730 and uh, the smaller screen makes it slightly better than the Moto G. Now moving on to the software and performance so both these devices run the Snapdragon Code Core 400 chipset and um, with 1 GB of RAM so Windows phone um, uh, devices uh, are not really uh, memory hungry as it can run on even 5 dual MB of RAM so the Lumia 730 is really smooth there is no issues in the performance so we have done a detailed review and found that uh, this device is really fast the touch response is really amazing and the overall performance is good. Uh, so this Windows Phone 8.1 update uh, has made a uh, lot of changes to the OS. It comes with uh, the notification center. You can do a lot of customizations. We have uh, apps like uh, I mean support of uh, VPN. Then you have data sense, storage sense, and a host of new features. You can directly install apps onto the micro SD card. That's one really good aspect. Then you have the already existing features like Kids Corner, blocking calls, uh, and a lot of other options. So uh, in all in all the Lumia 730 is really good with the new uh, software uh, improvements which Microsoft has brought into uh, the Lum Windows Phone 8.1. Now moving on to the Moto G. Moto G is a tried and tested device. Uh, the second generation also runs the Android uh, KitKat that's a 4.4.4 and is upgradable to Android uh, Lollipop update uh, in a couple of months time. Again the performance is really smooth. There is no lag absolutely and uh, almost uh, every app you can run on this device without any issues. The multitasking is also pretty decent and uh, it has almost a similar core UI of the core Android. So if you love core Android then you will be obviously uh, liking this device. App so the app ecosystem is one area where the Moto G excels than the Lumia 730 because Android has much more apps than uh, uh, the Windows phone. So that's one area but having said that uh, one big issue with the Android KitKat is that you can't directly install apps onto the SD card you need to install in the internal storage and move certain amount of files to the SD card that's the only option available with KitKat. So this device comes with, with 16 GB internal storage and it can be expanded by micro SD card but you need to install heavy gear and uh, apps onto the uh, internal storage and it can't be completely moved to the SD card so that's one issue with the Moto G so overall the 
performance aspect is uh, good on both the devices and uh, there are a couple of things uh, which come uh, good for the Lumia 730 one is uh, uh, the new Windows phone is really fast uh, and the uh, performance is really good and second is that it can install uh, apps onto the SD card directly and it has support for SD card up to 128 GB what comes good for Moto G is that the ecosystem is really good uh, you, can, you can have any, any app uh, which is currently available on the Android platform installed on this device but that's not the same case with the Windows phone where a lot of apps are missing so that was a performance aspect of uh, these two devices both have really good performance we can't say one is better but uh, because windows phones are really uh, much more fluid and faster than android it does not lag too much so in that aspect probably the lumia 730 has a slight edge in, in the overall uh, performance aspect now moving on to the camera so the the uh, lumia 730 has a uh, 6.7 megapixel camera while uh, uh, the moto g has an 8 megapixel camera so the camera is upgraded on the moto g from the 5 megapixel to the 8 megapixel on the latest uh, uh, moto g 2014 so now going we have uploaded a camera sample showing the uh, comparison of these two devices and the clear winner here is uh, lumia 730 lumia 730 produces excellent shot in this mid range and this is easily one of the best cameras camera phones below the rupees 15k price range without any doubt so we have already shared this camera samples of these two devices you can check out that so in the camera aspect uh, uh, the lumia 730 is a clear winner and it can even record videos in 1080p uh, the moto g can only record in 720p and the camera interface we can say that the nokia it comes with the no lumia 730 comes with the nokia camera while the moto g has the, the default camera which is pretty basic and does not have a, too many features while if you go to the nokia camera app you can see that you can basically control everything like uh, the iso the white balance the contrast ratios and uh, stuff like that uh, so uh, the overall the camera performance is really good on the lumia 730 so that was the camera comparison now moving on to the battery uh, of these two devices so the lumia 730 comes with a 20 to 20 milliamp hour battery while the moto g comes with 20 20 milliamp hour battery so the battery capacity is slightly better on the, uh, the lumia 970 30 so uh, even though the phone is um, uh, slightly uh, I mean smaller than uh, the uh, the Moto G uh, the device has better battery capacity than the Moto G Moto G has a 5 inch display while this has a 4.7 inch display and we have done a battery capacity test uh, on these two devices and found that the Lumia 730 is the better performer here we can easily get one to one and a half day of usage with the Lumia 730 while the same can't be said for the Moto G you can get only at least one day of usage so in the battery performance uh, we would say that the Lumia 730 is uh, uh, slightly better than the Moto G so that was the battery aspect of these two devices now finally uh, moving on to the usability aspect that's the design and build quality so you can see that uh, the lumia 730 is much easier to use because it's uh, uh, the smaller uh, screen size the 4.7 inch that's uh, that's the um, ideal size for a smartphone so while the moto g uh, has a 5 inch display so uh, uh, it's slightly bigger than uh, the Mo lumia 730 obviously and it's uh, it's heavier and thicker than the uh, lumia 730 so all in all we would say the uh, the design and um, uh, the usability aspect we would pick the lumia 730 because it's it's pretty compact in hands is easy to use with one hand we can't say the same with the moto g because it's slightly uh, heavier it's thicker and also bigger in screen size and the build quality we would say the both devices are really good in the quality but again the polycarbonate material finish on the lumia 730 is slightly better than the matte finish back panel on the uh, moto g so in the design and build quality aspect we would slightly be inclined to choose the lumia 730 here so that was a detailed comparison of these two devices so summing up we'll uh, highlight the best aspects of these two devices so the lumia 730 uh, excels in uh, slightly better display an excellent camera and uh, also uh, a slightly better performance in because it runs uh, windows phone 8.1 which is uh, which does not lag uh, even with 1 gb of ram so that's one good aspect of the lumia 730 and it also has um, uh, expandable storage uh, which where you can install apps directly onto the sd card now where the moto g xlc is that the android platform where you have lots of apps uh, to install which is probably missing on the lumia 730 Further, if you are looking for a bigger display, obvious choice would be the Moto G because it has a 5 inch display when compared to the 4.7 inch on uh, uh, the Lumia 730. So that was the uh, detailed comparison aspect of these two devices. So, so which is a better uh, mid-range phone to choose between these two? 
so that depends upon your priorities if you want if you work with a lot of apps uh, then the obvious choice is Moto G because the, the number of apps on the Android platform is uh, too large to when compared to Windows Phone. So obvious choice would be uh, the Moto G. But if you're not uh, really into too many apps, but just this basic apps like the social networking apps, emails and a uh, few other apps, then probably we would be inclined to choose the Lumia 730 because uh, it has a really good display. Uh, the design and quality is really good. The camera is top notch for a price for a phone in the 15K price range. And obviously, it, uh, it has the, all the specs you need uh, for a mid-range phone. And uh, although the pricing is slightly uh, um, higher than the Moto G, Moto G sells for around 13K, while uh, the Lumia sells for 15K. So there is a 2K difference. So if you are if you're not really bothered about that 2K, then we would definitely suggest you to pick the Lumia 730 because it has a better battery life, it has better camera, slightly better display, and uh, uh, overall aspect usability aspect is slightly better now uh, if you're if you're looking for a bigger display and uh, planning to install too many apps then obvious choice is the Moto G so that was a detailed comparison of the Moto G with the Nokia Lumia 730 hope you like this video if you have any specific queries just drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your queries if you like this video do hit the like button subscribe to YouTube channel for more updates and thanks for watching this video